hello hey baddies welcome back i know i dipped out for a minute but i'm back up in this thing i found some disturbing videos and i want to share them with y'all because black male worship is alive and it is well um watch these videos and we'll get into it when i come back stand up for men the way that I do because this generation of females don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all lost mentally. Y'all confused. Y'all don't know right from wrong when it comes to the Bible of being submissive. So, oh, y'all y'all don't like that word. Y'all don't like that word. And that's what I mean by mentally messed up. Y'all take trends and y'all follow these trends and the trends be toxic as fuck and y'all still follow them. And y'all actually start living your lifestyle by those trends and you think it's right. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you because you don't have the proper person to teach you what's right and what's wrong right now. Because you're grown. And it ain't nothing out here but trends to follow. So I don't blame y'all for that. But I stand up for them the way that I do because of that. And when I do, I'm called a pygmy or whatever that is. Or I'm called or, or, or I'm called all type of stuff. Because I know how to properly treat a man. I be trying to help y'all ladies. I don't have nothing against y'all. You feel me? None of that. I want to help y'all succeed, you feel me? That's the only reason I talk how I talk. One thing about me and having a man, I'm going to be your mama before I'm your wife. Nah, you can't have no juice. Go in there and drink some water. Sit your ass down, be still, let me grease that scalp. And if you want to, baby, you go to sleep on my lap. If I see you over here sleep without no cover, I'm finna come over and put some cover on you. I'ma give you some money. Here, take this money. Go get your hair cut. Nah, you can't go over there today, babe. I heard this was gonna happen. A shootout was gonna happen over here. Nah, you can't go over there. You gotta stay at home. Because one thing about me, I'ma ensure that that man had that love that he need. Let me break this down for y'all a little bit more. When I say I will be your mother first, I don't mean to control you like a mother. What I mean by that is to love you like a mother. I'm not talking about a woman that just gave birth to you. I'm talking about a mother. A real mother. A mother with the help of God who makes a way out of no way. A mother who would do anything to give up anything just to see her child succeed. A mother who's up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to make sure her child is okay. That's sincerity, protection, and affection. Can't nobody take the place of a real mother because the love is powerful. When I say that I will be your mother, baby, I'm talking about everything that a mother comes with. Of course, a mother will let her baby drink juice. But if she see that her baby drinking too much juice, she gonna tell that baby go get some water because she know it's not good for the baby. So with being a wife, it's important to have the traits of a mother. I'm here to show you that mother love affection because it's sincere. It's so pure. It's easy to be a wife, but can you love me like my mother loves me? How her... Excuse me. How a mother would treat her baby is how I would treat my husband. Do y'all understand what I'm saying now? I'm not trying to make you seem like a little boy. I'm trying to give you that sincere love. Stop dating broke-minded females who expect a man to pay for everything. Now that's the message to the men. For y'all ladies, stop expecting a man to provide for you for everything that you need. Because one day, what if one day he decides to leave? Now you stuck and you broke. You feel what I'm saying? It's a million ways out here to make some money. Get your grown ass up and go make some money. You feel what I'm saying? Don't no man want no woman who's always leeching off of him. That's like another responsibility. That's like another kid to him because for everything that you need, he has to pay for it. Don't no man want no leech. Now, if you have a man who pays for everything that you want to need, since you lucky, I'm going to just put it like that. You lucky. But most men, they don't want no woman who's always leeching. And stop lying to these men saying that you want a relationship when you don't. When the only thing you after is for their money. Like, that shit is so lame. Y'all wonder why niggas treat females a specific way when it comes to money. Because females like y'all. Y'all leeching. Y'all leeching and y'all use them. Stop doing that. Listen, ladies, I'm going to just speak on it how it is. Most of y'all ladies in this generation, y'all money hungry. You feel me? Y'all just money hungry. Y'all always want a man who got money. If you don't got money, if he's struggling, you don't want to. But let me tell y'all something real quick. The very man on the street that's struggling, that could be the next millionaire. Why? 
because his mindset just because he don't got everything together don't mean that he don't got a plan in his mindset to bring forth those things to pass so with that being said as a woman as a woman you can encourage a man as a woman you can push a man you feel me? And a man like that, you could change a man like that, make that man a millionaire. But y'all always don't, y'all y'all don't want to go through a man's struggle with him. Y'all just want the man with the money. Listen, maybe if y'all just sit down, help a man through his struggle, help a man get on his feet. When he up, you up with him and he'll appreciate you more. So like I said in my last video, it's not all about the money physically. Okay, so baddies, if you were able to make it through those few cringe-worthy videos, then I congratulate you because even as I was editing this video, oh my God, it was so cringy to watch. Um, we have this poor misguided soul right here. She is on TikTok defending men as she puts it and spewing misogynistic rhetoric um she's telling women you know and and i know that she's talking about black males because there are a bunch of them in her comments supporting this bullshit rhetoric because she is promoting that struggle love she's telling women to and Mind you, no real woman of any sound mind is going to listen to her. But up-and-coming young women probably will. She is encouraging and promoting struggle love. You know, she's telling them, basically, care, care for males, you know. Like, you're their mother. But then, in the same breath, she's telling... She's telling the the women and the young ladies, oh, no male wants to care for, and she don't sound too bright, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't listen to her, but, you know, she's telling young women that no male will want to care for a woman and take care of all her needs and um, all of this stuff, and yeah, that is true because with the lot of of males that's out now, yeah, they're like that. That's why, you know, women, young, especially young black women, need to be invested in themselves first because if you're invested in yourself, you won't get with a dude like that anyway. Um, You know what I'm saying? And so she's telling young women to care for males as if she is, his mother, but then she said, oh, that no man want to take care of a woman as if you his child, and, um, you know, that, that ain't nobody that hat, like, you know, girl, if you don't go ahead, and then she's talking about, oh, submissive, y'all don't like that word, I'm gonna tell you, of course women don't like that word, no woman needs to be submitting to a man. Do you know what submit means? Do you even know the origin of the word? See, that's how I know a lot of goddamn... <sighs> a lot of people aren't too bright. Aren't too bright. They don't study in simple things that you could look into yourself. You choose not to. Because in order to submit, you're automatically putting yourself in a position of subservience. Submit, subpar, subhuman, whatever you want to call it. You're putting yourself in a position to be underneath a man, to be lower than him, to place yourself under the control of another person. I would never hand over control over myself like that to anyone. So that's that's a setup right there. You know? And she's telling she's telling young women that they don't read the Bible, you don't have to read the Bible. You don't have to go by what the Bible says, especially if that's not your religion. But if it is your religion, hey, understand what you're working with and what you're dealing with because you should understand who wrote those texts and, and how misogynistic those people were and look into prior treaties that they had before they, before they wrote those Bibles. Look into that because... 
that was how women in the female sex was demonized as a whole. That's why we're still going through the shit we're going through now. Like, y'all are ridiculous. The hatred of women is so real. Submit, send yourself under. That's what it essentially means. You're sending yourself into a position lower than someone else. That word is overused. And it really, at this point, I'm getting tired of hearing that word. It needs to be done away with. Don't listen to this crazy chick right here. If you come across her TikTok, because there's something wrong with her. And in my opinion, it goes to show... That you could be pretty and be a mammy and a pick Misha. But she's pretty and pandering to males. But we cannot any longer sit around and just let things like this happen. Because it is emboldening males to be more violent against women. So we got to stop this. Because what happens is... These males, they get mad, they get upset, they start spazzing out, like, ah, you stupid, man, like, why won't you accept all my BS? Because there are people enabling the shitty behavior in the misogynoirist and in, in, in misogynistic males. And evolutionary psychology says otherwise, because she's telling women to accept struggle love but evolutionary psychology says that women women promote the trends in men women like to have males to mate with that have resources and things to ensure the safety and well-being of their offspring which is why I did pose this question in one of my prior videos um, I said it as a statement in my title, but I do like to ask the question, are black women unevolved? I think we are. Black women are unevolved when it comes to our mating strategies and it just needs to stop. So I love you, black women. Stay self-invested. You and I, T.Y., love a black woman from infinity to infinity.